Are you ready for it? We're ready for it. We're ready for our play of the day. Overnight, Taylor Swift not only dropped her next album, 1989, Taylor's version, but she also became a billionaire. Probably became a billionaire a long time ago. Right. She now survives. We're talking about it right now. You're right, George. Taylor has a lot to celebrate. She has the Midas touch at the moment with her era-defining mega tour, her concert and movie that is smashing box office records. She's brought a whole new audience to the NFL. <laughs> So the timing could not be better for this news. Overnight, Taylor released her beloved 1989 album in her version with lots of extras and surprises, and we're pretty sure the internet might never recover. <laughs> Swifties, that wildest dream has come true. Overnight, peak Taylor Monium as the pop star released her highly anticipated album, 1989, Taylor's version, each song with a new lyric video to match. As the clock struck midnight, the 12-time Grammy winner posting a montage of photos on Instagram, along with a letter to fans writing, I was born in 1989, reinvented for the first time in 2014, and a part of me was reclaimed in 2023. With the re-release of this album, I love so dearly. The release sending fans into a frenzy. Oh my. The new version of her 2014 hit album featuring 21 songs, including fan favorites Shake It Off, Bad Blood, and Blank Space. But I got a blank space, baby, and I'll write your name. As well as five previously unreleased tracks from the vault, like Now That We Don't Talk, Suburban Legends, and Is It Over Now? Baby, was it over then? Is it over now? In a new prologue to the album, Swift opens up about what her life was like back in 2014, when she was first recording 1989, in her mid-20s, and facing tough scrutiny about her personal life. It became clear to me that there was no such thing as casual dating, or even having a male friend who you platonically hang out with. If I was seen with him, it was assumed I was sleeping with him, and I swore off hanging out with guys dating, flirting, or anything that could be weaponized against me by a culture that consistently treated me with the harsh moral codes of the Victorian era. If I only hung out with my female friends, people couldn't sensationalize or sexualize that, right? I would learn later on that people could and people would. The album's release, the cherry on top of a blockbuster, history-making year for Swift. Are you ready for it? From her multi-city economy-boosting era's tour, that's projected to be the first concert ever to gross one billion dollars in ticket sales. To the big screen version of it, breaking records as the highest grossing concert film of all time. Go Taylor. And more on that billionaire status, the new title breaking overnight. According to Bloomberg, Swift is, quote, one of the few recording artists to build a 10-figure fortune almost entirely from her music, which means there's a lot more. And she's only 33. She's just hitting her stride. That's Absolutely. incredible. I agree. I feel like there's so much more to come, and we cannot wait. Bring it, Taylor. <laughs> Bring it on, Taylor. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.